Hi guys, my name is Nolo and welcome to BNB's podcast. I'm here with... Oh, hi guys, my name is Leo. And yeah, welcome to our podcast where it's designed for us to explore our passion for alternative beer and alternative music. So uh, today we're going to be reviewing... Devil's Peak, King's Blockhouse IPA. Yep. Oh, that's such a long name, actually. <laughs> Hella long name. <laughs> Because I would have just name. said Devil's Peak IPA, but it says King's Blockhouse on the labeling, so we will say what it says. I thought you were going to say that. No, I must. That's what it says. No, no, no. I thought you were just going to say like Devil's, Devil's Peak, Peak IPA. Because that's what I call it. Like, mm. there's no way I'm going to like say the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, no. So, straight out of Cape Town? Yep. Cape Town. Epping Cape Town. Maybe, I, I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is either. But I also realized that a lot of craft beer from South Africa is done or yeah, no, brewed definitely. in Cape Town. I think that's like the hotbed. That's where everybody's mm, at. It's like craft beer and wine. Wine. Yeah. Yeah. And brandy. Really? Yes. Okay, this is the first. I didn't know that. I don't know. Yes. I don't. I, I'm not no, a brandy like, and coke girl. I used to be, but uh, yeah, we story, all once story were, for man. another we day. All once were. <laughs> no, brandy because like, cause brandy is like uh, matured wine. Yes, actually, that's true. So, hence, because Makes of sense, wine country. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, we're going to review it. So, you're going to yeah. be honest. Devil's Peak is also just like a really big brand now. It's super, super big. super commercial. Super big. It Not was, commercial, yeah. Because like commercial, I feel like we need to see at least on television or something. I get you. But I mean commercial in the sense of craft beer. Like yeah, a lot of, of people who don't know craft do know Devil's, Devil's Peak. Peak. Definitely. Yeah. But because they've... Have you seen their catalog? The advertising is amazing. They no, do, no, no. Have you actually like seen get, the, like, amount the amount of, of beers they have? It's light. They have a whole run of like um, non-alcoholic. Yep. And then they do, I mean, just their brand. They do the first light. They do a yep. lager. They do, Pale they used ales. to do like crazy stouts. Yeah. But those like, I think were one-offs. Mm, but I think they also have like seasonal beers, which is really cool. That's cool. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, no, but like in terms of size, they definitely wanted it. I think it's them and CBC. Yeah, them and CBC are like very competitive. So, so I want to open it. No, no, do the honors. So I'll tell the people a bit more. So 6% IPA. Uh, so the taste profiles, they say it's supposed to have like mango, papaya, passion fruit. We'll see. But yeah, no, uh, bottling, interesting. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I like how that like smoked a little bit. I also like that. I like that. So yeah, no, uh, so far, I like it. I like the way it looks because they've changed branding so many times. But I feel like if you're that big, you can afford to do something like that. But yeah, no, 6% IPA. So yeah, we're going to go super nerdy because every time you profile an IPA, people get pissed. If you don't smell it <laughs> and you don't give them the taste, you don't give them the, yeah. So Definitely. Yeah, this is going to be for the for the connoisseurs. Definitely. Can I use that word? Yeah, you can. I think so. But I know it's a wine term. Can I use exclamation marks as well? Yeah, let's do exclamation marks. Yeah, because I don't believe in like beer connoisseurs <laughs> anyway. But also, that's a wine term. So I don't know what the is beer it? equivalent is. is just wrong. Like knowledgeable about whatever they're talking about and I has don't think taste. so. You guys let us know. Is connoisseur a wine term or is it a general... Nah, it's what just you... a French term about a guy who thinks he knows a lot but doesn't, but mm-hmm. does. But, <laughs> sure. But, okay, let's go into color, please. Yeah, wait. So, yeah, no. So, five criteria, should we list them or should we just... Yeah, go ahead. So, yeah. Uh, bottling and appearance. Should we start there Beautiful. or taste Beautiful. I want to, okay, I already have it in my hand. Can I just drink it already? Okay, let's just go with ta- <laughs> oh, yeah, taste. Let's well, go for taste. Yeah, I'm going to smell it like a connoisseur. Yes, of course. Go ahead. I'm going to use that word the entire episode now. <laughs> 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 should put a counter for that. But we should. It smells fucking great. Wow, this smells great. Like, it's like, it's giving me like There's fresh, so many fruits in like, here, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm just like, like walking through a forest of like fruits. Fresh cut grass. A yes, little bit. Fresh like, cut grass. The definitely. fruit equivalent of that. Mm, like you just harvested this fruit and you've just sliced each and every one I'm in the middle. Smelling like apple, apricot. There's a bit of grapefruit. Mm-hmm. Apple, my guy. Really? Yes. It's no, a- apricot, definitely. Apple, mm, like mm, it's got mm. that acidity can you smell of the, apple. The lime citrusy. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. Also, I don't like. No, can you smell it? Lime citrusy. I'm getting an undercurrent of that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. 
Oh, I am, but okay, so okay. enough of the smelling. <laughs> oh, so it's so unfair. Like, there was yeah. a comment on our, on our YouTube channel. Somebody Sorry. was like, guys, you keep going on about smell and we can't smell through. This smells like, like, I know, I can't help it. but like, it's not really fair. Good. It smells good. Let's just end it. No, no, there. just buy it and smell it themselves. Actually, exactly. But so, sorry, you guys can't smell yeah. this. Sorry. But Wish you could. You can if you buy it. We're going to buy a 4 HD camera that you can smell through. Dude, if only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines. The technology is coming. It it's is. It's coming. So, yeah, I like the color, though. Can we finally taste? Yes, wait, wait. Color first. It's so light for an it's IPA. Really light. I wasn't expecting that. I think, but for the commercial high volume IPA, you're going to go this dark because you can't go like the hazy. Makes sense. You no, know, I mean, bottling that was going to be like a nightmare. Yeah, and really expensive. You see what I'm saying? So, okay. Okay. Color clear. Lighter than I thought. Looks like a post by color. It does. But Actually, I mean, now that you mention it, it yeah. does. Okay, I want a drink. Sorry, okay. bye. Well, not much of a head uh, as you poured it. Like foam is kind of dissipating, but yeah, let's let's just taste. Let's just taste. As usual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't Bitterness help is it. high. Mm, 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 Bitterness mm, of mm. this beer is high. No, this is. But this is okay for me personally. I'm gonna be honest. I do not like IPAs. This is good though. Is it? It's, it's so sharp on the tongue, though. Like you know, one thing I never used to like mm. IPAs when I used oh, to like biscuit. taste of biscuit. Mm. After taste. Wait, I'm t- I'm saying something. Mm. I used to mm. Mm. I used to be really big on Vice, right? So Vice is like yeah. sweet, but obviously light in alcohol percentage. Yes. And then the more into beer I get, which is what I feel like a lot of people do, especially if you like a beer drinker, the more different types of beers you them. go into the more heavier you want to go. It's yeah. almost like wine, right? So you start off with like a light white wine, then you go to reds, then you go to like deep reds, you know, mm, or blend. whatever. I'm not I saying it correctly. Nothing about wine. I'm just saying <laughs> that's what happened to me with yeah. beer. So at first it was like lagers, then it was vice. Yeah. Then no, it was IPAs, sense. and that now it's stout. Do you get what I mean? Because vice is like the best gateway to exactly. introduce someone gateway. to craft. Like, don't use that term now. Gateway drug now. Now imagine. You can do it, Nijo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is a gateway drug. It is. I, no, like okay, vice is, is like the, the gateway yeah, to cross. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. So cross. for me, recently, I started really enjoying IPAs okay, because yes. of that. Because yeah, I want yeah. something stronger than a vice now. Do you mm, get what I mean? Mm. But for me, it's for me, I like them because mm. like they so most of them are well produced. You can't really go wrong. Mm. But the taste profile for me is, I can't, I can't tolerate the bitterness. It's too. The finish is too dry. It's too sharp on the tongue. Mm. It's not for me, but I can tell that this is a quality product. Makes sense, and it's really big in the US. Like IPAs yeah. are like everything in the US. I think that's another thing that influenced me to not like it. Uh. I think <laughs> I'm not sure. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I think I'm not sure. I thought you were gonna be like that's one of the things that I know about IPAs because I also feel like. Yeah. For me, when I think IP, I think American beer. Yeah, no, no, because there's two styles. Yeah. You get the American, then you get like the European. German, yeah. Yeah, European style. Yeah. I prefer the European style because they, too. these like the bitterness is a bit lower mm. and the fruitiness is a bit like. And it's also it's also smoother. Y- y- there you go. Mm. So this one is a bit. This is American style. You yeah, can crisp. It's harsh. Yep. Crisp. Mm. Refreshing for it a hot day. Reminds me of like. Works. It's the whole like obviously it tastes nothing like this. But it's along the lines of what Heineken does, right? Like the extreme, like oh, crisp. taste profile, yeah. Because it's like oh my God. this could be like a Sorry. if you've had like the sparkling wines, like a brute. Yeah. Mm, like dry finish, That's sharp so on true. the tongue. Mm, 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 so this is like the brute of beers, basically. Yeah, but it's really IPA. good if you want a kick because it's also six percent alcohol percentage. Yeah. So it's like higher than the average lager. Yeah, your lagers because the lagers are like what four five, five? Yeah, four, four point five. five. So this is six. So mm. they stepped it up a bit. That I like. Mm. That I like. Mm. But they I, always do in IPAs. I like smelling it more than I like tasting it. Mm-mm. The after taste is in. good. After though. this, I'm opening it. Oh, is it? You gotta go in again. <laughs> <laughs> no, Me, but I'm going in. No, it's, I'm really, really enjoying, enjoying it. This. Like, I'm. I don't know. I'm just like it's. 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 That's my beer phase now. I'm in the. Oh, IPA. are you IPA yeah. phase? Yeah, no. Nah, so I think. Good. I think because I've tried other IPAs and they've like done a better job of seducing me to that's like. That's fair. The American style is just. No, it's just not me. That's fair. That's fair. So we've covered taste. Mm-hmm. It's a yes from you. Hundred percent for me. Oh, I'm not sure, but I'm like, I'm not. Mm, I'm not. I'm can, not. Can I have that one? <laughs> no, you cannot. No, you cannot. I'm not sure, but I think I'll say yes 
because I can taste the genuine quality of it. But like, mm. yes, it's a good beer, mm. but it's not for me. So yeah, no. If you, I like that you can be objective like that. Yeah. So if you definitely feel like a Heineken drinker, mm. this is this is your lane. I agree. So I think we just covered two now. So yeah. taste, mm-hmm. it's a yes. Yes. Um, Big beer equivalent. Does it beat it? So compare this to a Heineken. But because they all know, they all know. But all, what about? Can't, are we not comparing this to other IPAs? I, Okay, so then it Because that's not them. fair. No, it beats them all because there, there are no other IPAs. Yes, they? I think CBC has an IPA. Nah. Don't they? No. No, no, what they is a, that? They um, have a post, no? You know, but what has an IPA that's so good? Oh, I had yeah, it the other day. Yeah. But it's other crafts. So what I'm saying, there's no commercial equivalent of an IPA. Excuse me. That's true, but there's no commercial equivalent to a lot of crafts as well. Yeah. So I guess they get a win on that. Yes. Okay, Yo. so price point. Price point, interesting. <laughs> so six pack. I think it, is, it tastes expensive uh, for me. Yeah, it IPAs does. are expensive also in general. I think craft in general, but IPAs especially. Yeah. Yeah. So. How much was this? A six pack. Sorry. Yeah, I got a six pack. Six pack, yeah. yo. Take a guess. I'll say a hundred rand. Uh, one twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was hoping for a hundred, but it makes sense <laughs> that it's one twenty. I know that was like your aspiration. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> you were like, I please, wish it was hundred bucks. No, it, no, I agree. Um, one twenty. It doesn't but... surprise me that it's one twenty for a six. Are you pack. happy with the value? Yeah. Oh shit, that was a quick. That was, that was a quick <laughs> for my Dude, unpaid can you now. Me enjoying, like I'm having the time of my life it's right good. now. It's like it's like I feel like I'm at a fancy party drinking champers. Ah. Uh... No, 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 and that's not a bad thing. It's just not me. It's cool. I've been there. Cool, clinking, okay, clinking. Fine. But yeah, but price point one twenty. But it's not bad for. It like, is expensive, but it's worth no, the it's price. No, it's pricey. Yeah. But like, it's you get what you pay for. I agree. So I would, I would go to and pay one twenty for this without hesitation. True. So availability. It is quite available. How wait, wait, wait. I've seen a lot of Devil's Peak, but I'm not sure about the yeah, IPA. I was about to say that to you, because I was like, you can see Devil's Peak like all over. Uh, where did you get this one? Take a guess. Macro. Take a guess. <laughs> Take a guess. Take a guess. Take a guess. Um, close to home, guys. I, I keep to, like close to home. There's nothing else I'm okay, going to say. Where else have you seen it outside of macro? Ooh, checkers. Checkers. Okay. Checkers tend to. That is so true, actually. Mm. I've seen that no, checkers as have, well. Yeah. But like, I have, so but at like specific areas, like the the fancy areas. Ah, but yeah. Yeah, I, I've sworn never to buy alcohol from Tops. Tops is so expensive. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sworn. Guys, am I the only one who thinks Tops I'm, is expensive? Like, dude, I've made a, like, a solemn promise to myself. I like, buy either from Checkers Liquor or Pick and Pay Liquor. It's also not bad, but they don't have a lot of craft. Yeah. And then I've never bought it macro because I don't have one near me. Oh, is it? Actually, I do. You do, but, but okay. <laughs> no, don't say your location. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't say my yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Don't but do I don't know. I also see like Macro is just a lot of admin. Like it's such a big store. Yeah, have a card, register Yo, for it. Also, like, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. your card number? There's a lot of faff. Now I must ask the lady behind me. There's a like, lot of faff. Your card number, yeah, there's a lot much. of faff. But, but once you get it, pff, prices. I guess. Can't be. Okay, can't availability beat. then would be. I would say. So so. It's it's a no for me personally okay. because what I was substantiated is um. Devil's Peak is very popular, mm-hmm. but the IPA still isn't popular. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to find the lagers almost yeah, everywhere. You you're do, gonna, you do. I think First Light is also quite popular even, even on tap. Yeah. But this one, finding even this the on lighter, tap. Is it, is it light? They, yeah, Devil's Peak light. light yeah, mm. that one is very popular. Yeah, it's so bad though. <laughs> Have you had it? <laughs> <laughs> so bad, dude. We had it one time. First you know of all... What? No, so what I think, right, yeah. uh, is... In the beginning, because you know they changed their lagers recently. Yes, yes, they, they did a taste good job. Better. Did a good job there. Yeah. Before that happened, the light tasted better than the lager. No way. Hey, I'm telling you. No ways. We once had it. We once Dude, had I also 18. Had it. There was there were two of us. We had like 18 beers. First of all, we didn't get drunk, so that's like. Yeah, but what what, what perc- are we doing? What here? was the percentage? Couldn't remember because we were so disappointed. We were just like, "Dude, just get this away from me." That's why I go for IPAs, guys. No, but. We got a guy. Okay. Yeah. So uh, availability, let's say 50-50. That's in the middle. Yeah. Definitely in the Because like, if you go to a checkers, if mm. you go to a macro, then you got your chances are high. Yeah. And I think I've seen it on tap a few places. I haven't actually. Well, Capital Craft. And of also, course. it tastes better in a bottle. I always feel like. Oh, that's true. Mm. I've had it on tap. Mm. So light. 
Mm. So like that's the thing about. I feel like if it's on tap, it should be a heavy beers only should be on tap because yes, they almost like they stepped they, on a little bit. Yeah, they chill things down, draft, yeah. be smoother. But yeah. I feel like if you want that kick, then definitely in a bottle or a can. Okay, so bottling and appearance. What are we saying? Hundred out, like out of hundred out of million. Let me see. <laughs> No, I really, <laughs> I like, really like it. Wow, you really like this design? Like, okay, maybe I'm coming from my graphic design. You definitely side. are. You definitely but are. But it's so pretty. No, no, oh, I guys. can. guys. It's can so see. well designed. And also, like, you can tell, like, all the elements in there. Like, there's a king. There's, oh, you know the what king I mean? Blockhouse. Like, I guess they stuck to the theme. And also, and it's like, executed it, my favorite thing about good design, or for me, what makes good design is thought out design. Ah, don't just make it look pretty. So, like there's a concept behind exactly. this. Exactly. Like, there's I'm, a mean like what is what are you saying with your you design? Say with this? Oh, okay. And also if it looks good, that just makes it even better. Do you know what you've convinced me? I was like I was 50 50. Mm. I can see the effort behind it. Like you, you, you definitely workshop this. You got a professional to do this. Definitely. And I like the like the top labeling though. Like the slant, the, the script. Oh, this the yeah. where it says King's yeah, Blockhouse. Like, like King's Blockhouse. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Mic down so I can open another one. Do that. So, <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you now. So, we covered price. We said yes. We covered taste. It was a yes. It's a yes because they've done it so well. Uh, bottling and appearance, we've done that. Yes. Availability, that's the. Ooh. Nah, but availability, I still like the IPA is too low. For Devil's Peak, yes, but IPA is too low. And big beer equivalent, it's like, yeah, y'all yeah, have very little competition. Yeah, that's and true. And your other competition are like other craft, yes. which are like smaller than you. Yes. So you guys are the big beer now. Mm-hmm. So, 100%. Easy, easy. Yeah. So yeah, that's like what? Three and a half mm. out of five? Mm. That's really know. good though. Uh, I really like you guys. guys. <laughs> no, but they're doing well. They're yeah. doing well. They're doing well. They're doing and well. I wasn't a Devil's Peak fan before. I don't, I'm not going to lie. And they've Desert. literally won me over. So No, I think because they've improved their product. They have. Like, on That's what cycle. I like about them. They're yeah, like, they, they take their job very seriously. Yeah, and they're like, because it's a passion thing as well, I feel like when, if you're not passionate about anything that you do, you're not going to actively yeah. try to make it better. You're just going to be like, as long as I'm making money, that's good enough. I feel like what most beer companies would do, like the bigger ones especially, they was just like, no, improve the marketing. Don't improve the product. So many beers do that. Yeah, like, no, 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 let's just put out on more football matches. Like, oh. yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> Heineken, really? stop it. Yeah, yeah, no, we see you. You guys have we not changed you. for you. Like, we <laughs> see you. Like, dude, you are... You're horrible. Che- sorry. I'm quality. Sorry. Where's the quality? No, Where's the quality? But it's, it's like McDonald's, though. It's They're never going to change that burger. Dude, the last time I Crappy had burger. McDonald's. You regret it the minute you eat it. <laughs> you're hungry when you get home. You're like, ah, wh- why did I do this again? What a waste of my yeah, money. But I think that's just that's just capitalism and, and big business. So. Yeah. But yeah, y'all are, y'all are doing well, man. Yeah. Y'all definitely. actually try to improve the product. So. And Shout they succeeded. You guys. Yeah, no. So uh, three out of three and a half out of five. Yeah, that's really that's good. Great. That's, that's great. That's really so, good. No, shout out to you guys. So, uh, for our beat section, mm-hmm. I asked you this one. This time, I specifically asked you, like oh, in time, yeah, oh to like God. check out the documentary. The, the, no, the no, pressure. because no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you did, because you did. I like that documentary so much. So I'm a fan of. I it. also watched it. Yeah. So to tell the audience, yes. so uh, the documentary is called uh, "Our Vinyl Ways a Ton," and it's a a story about how the record label came to be, right? Called Stone's Throw. Mm-hmm. So it started by two guys. So you've seen it yes. now a little bit. Mm-hmm. Especially, I'm hoping the beginning you saw. I did. I watched 30 minutes of the one hour, 30 minutes. It's <laughs> a good start. I, I'm being honest. No, no, that's a good start. I'm like, one hour, 30 minutes. That's long. Sorry, guys. Like, it's we're going to really, put it we're in gonna the... We're going to put the link in the description. Yeah, but, it's, but for me, it's like worth it. But it really is a good yeah. one. Um. And my favorite thing about it, okay, take, you take a guess why I picked it though. Why? Because of no, the people he produces for. Well, that too, but there's like a in there. Uh-uh, no, not just take a guess. Okay, so just basically, it was started mm. by two guys, as yes, you saw. Yes. These guys were two guys in the garage making beer. Oh my gosh, this is the Apple story. Well, close. <laughs> Apple for beer though. Bro. That's so cool. So yeah, the two guys. Uh, Wrote the name down, like mm-hmm. Russell and Dan, all the way from like Cape Town. That's so cool. From their own garage. Yo, just two guys. That's two this. guys started this. That's really impressive. And then, so these two guys had the idea of making beer, mm-hmm. but better beer than what they had. Mm-hmm. And they linked up with like a brewer. 
And then that bro had to leave. Mm -hmm. So they went to like the CBC guys. Mm. They hooked them up with another bro. And then look at where they are now. That's insane. I mean, these guys, there was a point in time where they were shipping this to the UK. I don't know if you're aware of that. No, I didn't. Yeah. Like when the craft industry started to blow up, yes. they were shipping this to the UK. So two guys got to this level. And then two guys started sewn through. Also in their own apartment. Mm, <laughs> that was the office. That. That's so cool. Yeah. But it's so sad that the one guy passed away. Yeah, no, that was tragic. Mm. But the other guy, you know, soldiered on. Dude, the fact Look. that he, like, produces for Kanye, Snoop, Common, um, Tyler, Dilla, the creator. I was like, Mad what? Lib. But he also still puts on, like, smaller, younger artists That's that are doing so something cool. different. Yeah. Hence, craft. Mm. So, like, when I see that documentary, you always tear to my eye, but it makes me so happy that, like, People can start from the bottom and mm, become that big and put so, so many people. And the crazy thing is that I didn't know about him until I watched the documentary. Very few people do because you're like, dude, you're like an industry sort of like, you're everywhere. You're like a legend, but like yeah, underground. Low key. There so you go. low key. So now nah, he needs the publicity. Like, check out the, the, the documentary. Stone's Throw. I mean. I really enjoyed it. Anderson and Park. I'm not like big into documentaries so yeah. it was a really good one super cool and right? the fact that like i love how low-key he is that's my favorite thing because i feel like a lot of people believe that in general or in anything that they do they have to be known or super popular to succeed and i don't think that's true and have like that bigger than life personality yeah like be known everybody. at every party he's just like no I'm cool. no dude you can produce for kanye and nobody knows you and you dude. can still make a living and live your best life so if you go into the documentary further, you'll find out that one of your favorite producers, Who? Flying Lotus, interned at this company when we're starting. Interned. Interned. So dude, I'm like, dude, still, how many I'll people have you put on? I, I saw Flying Lotus before. Great show. I was like, oh my god. Great gosh. show. That was amazing. Like as a live I show so experience. Come, come back. Please, please. <laughs> oh please. my gosh, that was amazing. That was like. No, that was like rain or sunshine. Afro punk, you guys kill it. Life, Come man. back, New Year's Eve. We please, need you. We please. need you. Please, I got to see some Thundercat because of them. Yep. The internet. I mean, <sighs> that was a great two nights. Good times. Consecutive, bro. Good times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man. Please check out the documentary. Mm-hmm. Tell us what you think. Uh, check out the beer. Oh my gosh, please. It's it's winning me over. As an it's episode, it's my goes, favorite <laughs> devil it's winning me over. beer. Yeah. No, this is my favorite beer. Like. No, I, 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 my favorite Devil's Peak beer. Is it? I don't have a favorite okay. beer. There's too many amazing ones. Yeah, I like the weird stuff that they do for like limited runs mm-hmm. and then you never see ever again. The seasonal ones, yeah. Yeah, but this one's like, I would buy this. Mm. That's how good it is. No, I would. At 120, I would still buy it. Yeah. Some people might say that's deep. But no, no, no they the definitely quality. will. But it's like, once you taste it, you're mm. like, ah, not really. Mm. I mean, the same people will probably buy Hennessy, would they not? Hey! That's... Pop champagne. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. But, you know, you get what you pay for. That's true. You get what you pay and for. And this is like, what, 500 rand ish? I wouldn't know. I would. I just I know it's it. just ridiculously priced. <laughs> no. And something I would have bought. And buy. people enjoy it. And basically, oh, no, people pay for what they enjoy and what they deem to be worth the value. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You get what you pay for. So, yeah. yeah, no. So, shout out to you guys, man. You guys are doing really well. Uh, Check out the documentary. Look for it in the description. Tell us what you think. Comment. Do all the nice things. And, yeah. Yeah. Are we signing off? Yep. Okay, so yeah, uh, guys, uh good times. Open minds. Cheers.